You ask how many blunts I smoked today. I tell you, none. You imply there's something different about me, something strange or unusual. You insinuate that you know me, that you are as familiar with my demeanor as you are the skin on the back of your hand, so I confess. Clonopin. I explain away my shift in mood in hopes of not worrying you because I know how you feel about my sporadic marijuana intake and I don't need no lecture on substance abuse. But I needed that clonopin. I needed that one milligram raft to stop me from drowning in my emotions, my feelings, this body of water. I'm so accustomed to floating, I never considered the possibility of the liquid filling my lungs, my mind. Is a shark-filled ocean my emotions could have sent me to a watery grave? I was prescribed this lifeguard in a bottle for those moments. My sanity wants to play Marco Polo, but you scoff at my reasoning as if I was a junkie trying to convince you it's okay as long as only take enough to keep me straight, right? Get this mental monkey off my back. You scoffed at me. You, who knows nothing of my illness, you, who met this body when the self-inflicted cuts had already healed you, who have not witnessed my mania, who have never felt the obligation to hold my depression close to you with angry, confused arms. You act as if I'm ungrateful for some freedom I possess, but you know nothing of the prison I gotta send my pain to. Nor my wounds will only be rubbed with ignorance, disbelief, or pity. You don't know how bad pity seems, how it makes me wish I could quarantine my crazy. Isolate my insanity until I find someone who understands. You don't know how scarce, how sacred true understanding is and how that's all I ever wanted from you, but you told me to handle my problems like a woman. As if bipolar disorder and PTSD are menstrual cramps and yeast infections. I'm sorry I don't know the right flavor of yogurt to balance the dysfunction that I'm burning. They don't make heating pads hot enough to burn out the memories of traumatic events that led to me being this way, this torn, this hopeless, this damage, this woman that you attempt to soothe with phrases like, there's nothing wrong with you. As if I, I cannot consider taking medication a condition to my rightness the same way that diabetics consider taking insulin, writing their blood, the way that new mothers consider holding their infants, writing their postpartum depression, the way that I consider terminating my pregnancy as a way to write my future with you. I remember that day so well, you never knew I was pregnant. You rubbed my back softly as I cried of post-abortion pain, disguised as a usual discomfort from my period. You told me I should take a pill for once, that it might help 